what's in my Canadian protein order this month. since I have been on YouTube, so I figure what better way to reintroduce myself than with my Canadian Protein Monthly order. So this is a run through of everything that I got and I'm just going to kind of break it down and explain everything on my order. Alright, we are starting with... Oh, so many good things. So sometimes, obviously, I love the C pre um, pre workout, but sometimes I like to make my own. So I do a little mix and match of things. So we got beta alanine for that tingling sensation, sitmal, citrulline malate. This one I love. Um, I just like putting a scoop of it into my shaker cup with BCAAs. And the citrulline malate is really good because it helps release nitrogen oxide into your blood, opening up your blood vessels, which basically gives you like a really awesome pump sensation. No crashes or anything, no spikes, you just feel good. There's no caffeine in it. Uh, the addiction is real, friends. I ordered 10, 10 maple flavor packs because these things are insanely addictive. I put that shit in and on everything. I put it obviously in my protein powder whenever I have protein shakes or my smoothie bowls. I actually put the maple flavor pack into my coffee because I just love the taste of it. So I go through those like crazy. So I got like 10 packs to hopefully last me a month. Then we got our trusty old BCAAs. I got the Blue Raz because out of all the flavors, Blue Raz is my favorite. What I love about Canadian Protein BCAAs and I guess all of their flavored products is they're true to taste. So if you're getting Blue Raspberry or if you're getting Fruit Punch BCAAs, you can guarantee that it is going to be true to taste. Same thing with their protein powders. If you're gonna order Canadian maple, or if you're gonna order chocolate milkshake, or cookies and cream, or birthday cake, or the new salted caramel, you can guarantee that it is going to taste like that. And that's what I love about Canadian protein, is they are honest and true to their word. Next, all natural, premium, vegan protein blend. I got both vanilla and chocolate flavors because I honestly love them. I love the vegan protein because I am a power lifter, getting my protein intake for strength training is extremely important, but I do like to kind of switch up my protein intake. I do like the vegan blend. So the vegan protein is still a complete amino profile because it is a blend. Pea protein isolate, brown rice protein, and hemp protein. All natural, I got vanilla and chocolate. The one thing that I absolutely, obviously the flavor and the taste is really, really good. I promise you're not gonna get that like chalky, crappy, vegan protein, powdery taste, aftertaste that you do get with some other brands. This vegan protein is actually, it gets like really, really thick. So even if you just mix this like with a little bit of water, it's really gonna thicken up so you're not getting like that liquidy, gross flavor. That's what another thing that I love about Canadian protein is it's awesome to bake with, awesome to mix with, easily mixes in water and the more, um, I guess, concentrate of a protein that you get, so the opposite of an isolate, we know that an isolate protein is isolated so it's pretty much pure protein source. When you are getting the carbs and the fats in your protein, such as in the vegan blend, it is going to get a little bit thicker. So if you're looking for a thicker protein to either add to your shakes or smoothie bowls with ice cream or any kind of baking, go for probably a blend and that's going to give you the best taste that you can get. Third bag of protein that I ordered, the last one, the biggest one, grass-fed New Zealand whey, Canadian maple flavor, of course. This one's actually the concentrate, so just like I mentioned, the concentrate is going to thicken up. I have... 
I don't know, probably every different kind of Canadian protein powder in my house, in my travel bags because of all the traveling that I'm doing. And I just love having all the different varieties on hand, the flavors, the different styles of protein, all my supplements. So that is my Canadian protein haul for this month. And obviously I'm doing another one again soon. All of that was honestly $200 worth of supplements, worth three giant bags of protein powder, one pound bag of BCAAs, 10 insanely good maple flavor pack supplements, including Sitmal and beta alanine. So if you do have questions, send me a message Ask me if there's anything on Canadian protein or anything about supplements that you're not sure about and I am more than happy to either provide you with the information or if I don't know it myself, because I know I don't know everything, then I am more than happy to get access to the information that you might have. So that wraps up my April 2018 Canadian protein haul. Thank you for hanging out with me and hasta luego. Peace out, have an awesome day, strong friends.